I have been writing an awful lot about fires recently, but I am beginning to understand how a city needs to be prepared for any destructive force of nature to support its people and the public good. However, the documents on the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory fire are a reminder that industry will always treat child workers' safety as an afterthought in the name of discipline and profit. Although fire is a natural force, the ignorance of fire safety was artificial and deliberate. Francis Perkins, a leading garment striker, called these sweatshops fire and death traps. I would rather not quote the more gruesome parts, yet William Shepard's realization after the fire remains harrowing. I looked upon the heap of dead bodies and I remembered these girls were shirtwaist makers. I remember their great strike of last year in which these shame girls had demanded more sanitary conditions and more safety precaution in these shops. These dead bodies were the answer. From the Ashley's Mines Commission to Nike in the 21st century, industrialists remain always aware of how sweatshops destroy workers' safety and then act surprised when their workers demand regulation. The problem of unsafe working conditions has not gone away. It moved somewhere else. Living in the post-industrial city, we tend to place industrial labor in the historic past, but this is wrong. Reading about body after body hitting the ground reminded me of the Apple factory suicides in 2010. On the General Slocum, over a thousand souls perished because the ship failed to take proper precautions. Several crewmen tried to put the fire out, but they had never conducted a fire drill or undergone any emergency training. To make matters worse, the ship's rotten fire hoses burst whenever the water was turned on. The failure to uphold not only workers' safety, but also patrons' safety in the name of cutting costs was a clear and consistent pattern. As consumers, we must demand safety from everything that we use. Ralph Nader's 1965 book, Unsafe at Any Speed, The Designed in Dangers of the American Automotive, exposed how chrome interiors, lack of seat belts, among other things, were deliberate corporate design decisions that placed value before human life. There has been an impactful consumers and workers' rights slash safety movement continuing from the second half of the last century. Calories are now listed on menus and recalls are issues. But why stop there? In the same way workers striped for their safety during the urban progressive era, we must demand that our cities keep lead out of our water, keep our pedestrians safe, and in general, prevent rather than respond.